Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, another video for you today during this whole coronavirus deal. We got an install on the CA Technologies upper shock mount kit. Um, you may have seen my last video where I had the CT Raceworks one. And we're going to do a comparison on this after we get a little ride time, hopefully here at the end of the month. Um, everything you need to see to rip this front end off is in my last video and I'll put a link in it in the top of the video right now. And yeah, let's rip this thing apart. So the next thing we're going to do right here is we're going to uh, slap the red plate in right here at the bottom two i'll show you from this side right here you're gonna put the two right there on these center bolts there's uh one of them and then the other ones these two right there so we're gonna put that in these two holes and then we're gonna um just loosely set it in you don't want to tighten it yet then we're gonna take this off and then set the shocks to the side got it yeah I don't you know what. Okay, so we're gonna slap these two right here in those two holes. Right there through the bottom, then we'll put the nut and washer just like that. We're gonna slap these nuts and bolts right through the center there. And then Hi. I'll cut I'll cut that. No, you won't. You already put one. Come on. I don't even know if I can see that. You don't do bloopers. There you need oh. to at the end of this video. Because he's slapping these nuts. <laughs> exactly. Slapping nuts and side by sides. There we go. It's kind of a tight reach because you got the radiator and then you got to reach up underneath the diff right under there and put those in. So we got the plate in. It's not fastened down, but it's snugged so we can uh, still adjust it um, when we go to put the upper shock brace on. The next thing we're gonna do is put the limiting straps on with the shock brace and get it snug, not tight. We'll go around and tighten it all at the end. When you're doing these, uh... All right, so we got the first limit strap in. Just a heads up before uh, you start doing anything with the upper shock mount, I would definitely Go ahead and just put it on the bottom first because if you got it on the top, you're never going to be able to get the shock back in because uh, it's going to full extend when you take the bolt out. So you're never going to have enough arm strength to put it back in unless you compress the shock. So what you should do is uh, put it in the bottom first. So it'll be a little easier that way because then you can just lift it up, the car up, and then it will adjust the upper part of the shock to get it right where you want it. All right, guys, we got it all assembled here. Um, it looks pretty solid. Looks like a pretty solid unit here. Just getting some dirt from the Ladif flats trip off. And uh, yeah, so that, it looks pretty good. I like the bungee cords on here. We are kind of concerned about uh, the travel you possibly could be losing. I assume these straps stretch a little bit so you won't lose too much travel. But they're pretty tight right now, just how it sits. Um, even with the bungee pulling on it, that's all about you get. That's all about all you get right there. So, yeah, it'll too. shout out to CA Technologies for this install. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you in another video. Subscribe and like for more.